You've probably heard a lot recently about United Healthcare's AI algorithm that has denied care to a ton of people for reasons that I don't think I have to get into, but I do want to get into what this algorithm is and why it's been denying so much care. So United Healthcare uses an AI system called NH Predict. And what this system is supposed to do is predict the length of care that a particular patient will need based on their condition. It does this by analyzing millions of medical records and matches existing patients who are filing claims to past patients with similar diagnoses and characteristics such as age and pre-existing conditions. The idea behind it was that it would personalize discharge planning such that each individual patient would be discharged along a timeline that matches matches their needs and patient profile. But here's the problem. This training data is based on past patients and their length of stay based on the condition and their age characteristics and all that. But it's also based on things like when insurance started denying coverage for their discharge plan. In other words, these discharge plans that they're using as training data are heavily influenced by insurance decisions and don't necessarily represent the best standard of care that a doctor would recommend that a patient get. On top of that, United Health is one of the few Medicare approved insurance plans for elderly people. So these algorithms disproportionately impact elderly patients who are probably more likely to really need that extended care. And so what ends up happening is that a doctor might have a plan of care that requires extended care for a particular patient, but because the insurance company denies coverage for that, in theory, someone could pay out of pocket, but in practice, that means their medical expertise is overrided and the person gets shorter plans of care that aren't sufficient from a medical perspective. Now, what insurance companies would say to this is that if you don't agree with this decision, you can appeal. But anyone who has health insurance knows that's a whole process that requires time and expertise. United claims that only 0.2% of policyholders appealed these denials, but 90% of those appealed decisions are actually reversed and they end up getting the standard of care they probably should. So if you're wondering why everyone's so mad at United specifically for this algorithm, that's how it works, and that's reasonably why everyone is so mad. And if you're worried about whether or not your insurance company uses a system like this, do not worry. Most of them do. I don't think that most of them are as bad as this one, but I have not looked deeply enough into it to know, so if you'd be curious about that, I can do some digging. But health insurance companies using AI systems or automated systems to approve or deny care is not really a new phenomenon.